This week, the New Hampshire House rejected a bill that would have made it illegal for women to show their nipples in public. The Free the Nipple movement seeks to advance gender equality by empowering women to go topless in public and online. We're not bad people, we're just naked girls in pain. But sites like Facebook still have strict no nipple policies. So, let's see what we can get away with. Women can show side boob, under boob, and over boob, but as soon as a nipple peeks its head out, it's taken down on Facebook. Unless the woman is breastfeeding or showing her post-mastectomy scars. So ladies, if you want to free the nipple on Facebook, it's not that hard. Just give birth or get cancer. Meanwhile, dudes can flaunt their areolas all day long. We could show you 100 male nipples right now. Here's one. Here's another one. Here's a male nipple on a sunflower. Here's Ted Cruz with male nipples for eyes. Hell, here's Ted Cruz with a male nipple for a face. We can show this topless model with her nipples removed, and we can show these male nipples, but we can't show the model's nipples. We can even take the male's nipples and put them on the topless model's body, but as soon as we try to put her nipples on her body, we because that's indecent. What's not indecent is posting violent or graphic entertainment. So, no to female nipples, but this guy's head exploding, go for it. Facebook claims the female nipple ban is because it's a sensitive spot for people of a certain cultural background or of a certain age. But remember, breasts aren't inherently sexual. We've sexualized them. One New Hampshire lawmaker argued that if women are allowed to show their breasts in public, then men should be allowed to grab them. We would Photoshop him to look like a boob, but he already is one. Look, women can like freeing the nipple, but that doesn't give men the right to poke them. This is your mic check. That was a Facebook joke. Good job, Thank you.